Good day, folks. Welcome back to the channel. I need help. Time bandit. Can you pick me up? Yeah. Hey, Keith. How you doing, man? Back it out. Oh. I'm seeing good numbers, but I've got crawlers out here, and I've had major problems. I had, like, three pots. A couple of them gone, drug into a tangle. These guys are wiping me out. Wow. That's crazy. I'm seeing lots of 300s, and if you were willing to come down here and work with me, we can literally build a wall. Maybe that'll keep them from coming through the area. We're here, Russians. We're setting six pots to the mile, so we can still catch crab. And we are close enough together, we can block that Russian. Hey, put your flag up, OK? We got ours up this afternoon. Yeah, you guys are going up there right now. Yeah, Freddy! Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful thing, the American flag. It's a beautiful thing. Two. One. Today, we will show you illegal activities on deadliest catch. Illegal foreign ships. The captains were crab fishing in the Bering Sea when they saw a strange boat on radar, but it wasn't on their GPS. They suspected it was trouble and decided to investigate. As Sig got closer to the boat, he hit a big net in the water. It seemed like it was from illegal fishing. But who the hell is that? He's not on my GPS, but he's on the damn radar. Come check it out. See that? Oh, yeah. He's not over here, but he's there. He's just, not on the AIM. He's bugging me. Yeah, vessel, uh, 12 miles up my bow, heading south. Are you crabbing? Are you dragging? This is the time bandit. Yeah, time bandit calling the vessel, 12 miles up my bow, heading south. Are you crabbing? Are you dragging? Are you guys fishing? Something's off. Yeah, I'm gonna go up and investigate. Copy, copy. Be right behind you. Eddie, get the guys up and go after this guy. Yep, you got it. Oh, man. What was that? I don't see anything. Damn it. He's running from me. Hanging him on the radar. I mean, I got him left. Come on, brother. I'm not losing this guy. Come on, boys. Freddy, John wants you on deck, man. You see anything back there? They made a plan. Tying drums and pallets together, they poured fuel on the net and set it on fire to send a message. Their goal was to keep America's crab grounds safe from illegal activities. By taking a stand together, the captains formed unexpected alliances, uniting to protect their waters. In the end, their bold actions successfully conveyed their message and defended against the threat. Yeah, there's a bag. Got a line in the wheel. Got it. I'm tight, though. Hey, can you still pick me up on the radio here? I'm on eight miles off him now. I'm coming in fast. Hey, Sig, you got me? Sig, you got me, Saga. I'm gonna keep following. I'm gonna redline it, Neil. Are those all our buoys? Those are all our buoys. You guys got me? Yeah, got we got you. Okay. Got you. you okay, back up the floor, Robbie. This is the guy. This is the guy that's been doing it out here. Oh, come on. I'm dead in the water. I can't get the boat in gear. I mean, I am literally dead in the water. You need help? I might need a tow. All right, Sig, I'm heading towards you. What do you want to do? Hey, John, you got any empty drums over there? Yeah, I got a, I got a few. Lash them together for me. I'll explain it when you get here. What? Well, I'm thinking of sending a message. I'm in. Get some line. Lash him up. Grab every pallet we got. Stack the pallets on top. And 
get that damn net and douse it with as much fuel as you can find. Okay, guys, we're gonna drop this off. All right, Bob, let's go! It's enough, enough's enough. All right, Johnny. Light it up! Suspicious trawler, Northwestern Captain Sig Hansen spotted a mysterious boat on his radar that ignored his radio calls. Worried, he noticed the vessel getting dangerously close to his fishing gear. Racing against time, Sig had to retrieve his pots before the unresponsive boat could damage them. With each pot potentially worth thousands, Sig couldn't afford to lose them. American number one? Oh boy. They're about, about five miles outside the gear. He's right there. That's not good. Uh, American one, Northwestern, you read? Please respond. A boat like that can go through your pots and just tear your gear to shreds. American number one, uh, Northwestern, you see me here? They see us on AIS. All you gotta do is bend a little. 20 degrees, that's all it takes. Can you please respond? What the hell? Stop, 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 right now. Don't set it. We got a few left. You want to dump them off? Just leave it. There's trawlers in the area right up above. Even though it was risky, Sig kept going, wishing for a good catch. Despite initial setbacks, Sig remained optimistic, knowing that crab fishing always involved risks. Eventually, after facing challenges, Sig managed to secure a decent catch, alleviating some of the earlier tension. Just seeing the first bag now, coming up alongside. <sighs> Hoping for like a crab an hour. There's stuff. That's life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that there's a lot of trawling going on, and I know that they transit this area. My gut tells me to just roll these pots. Sometimes you just gotta take risks. Set them back, all right? We're allowed to fish here too, so. Let's make it happen. Fishing is always a gamble. Right now, I think this risk is worth it. Keep our fingers crossed. Right now, the currents are running very strong. It just takes more time for the crab to crawl. The timing is not optimal, but uh, you want to see some life in the pots. Come on. Uh oh. What happened? Like 10? OK. Some crab in there. <laughs> oh. There we go. 29. 29? Boy, I like that number on that. Fishing in the wrong area. 650 miles northwest of Dutch Harbor. The wizard faced rough weather as they fished near the Russian border. Captain Keith Colburn aimed to reach the Apelio grounds, banking on a successful catch. Despite the risk of fishing near the Russian border, he pushed on, setting up gear to catch crab. However, trouble struck when he spotted a foreign trawler messing with his gear. It was a tense situation, as the trawler threatened their catch and livelihood. We're fishing right next to the Russian border, farther north than anybody else fishes. We did really well up here last year. The season just getting started for us. So, I'm gonna load it up with a bunch of gear. As soon as we're ready, guys, let me know, and I'll get ready to dump it, okay? Oh, yeah! 
Yeah, Brody! Right now, I'm just adding shots, setting deep, see what's out there. It's been a long time since I've heard Morse code on the emergency frequency channel, which means there's some serious happening in the world right now. Tensions are at their worst since the Cold War, and I'm fishing right on the Russian border out here in the Bering Sea. Pushy those Russians seem to think everything's theirs. Might have an issue here with the Ruskies, but I just need to get crab in these spots. And this is not good, not good, not good. Okay, I got some serious problems here. I've got a random boat on the radar here, and he is uh, getting right into our gear. And that's, I mean, That is not a crab boat. That is a trawler. I can actually see the cables coming off the back side of the boat. I got a Russian trawler right in the middle of my gear. Get the out of here. They tear the bottom up, kill everything in its path, and they scoop up a couple of fish. Russian trawler, get back over the Russian line. Fuck me. And he's tearing up our bottom, and he's going right through my gear. Here it is, Robbie. It's coming up. Come on, crab, I need crab. I need something. Yeah. It's looking pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. That's got some crab in it there, man. This Russian trawler is moving our gear, snarling our stuff up. Who knows what else he did to the gear on the bottom. We just lost the pot slowly sinking into oblivion. In response, Keith reached out for help, knowing he couldn't handle the situation alone. With other captains' help, they made a plan to protect their fishing spots and stopped illegal activities. Despite challenges, they stayed strong, guarding American waters from outsiders. I need help. Time bandit. Can you pick me up? Yeah. Hey, Keith. How you doing, man? Back it out. Oh. I'm seeing good numbers, but I've got trawlers out here and I've had major problems. I had like three pots, a couple of them gone, drug into a tangle. These guys are wiping me out. Wow, that's crazy. I'm seeing lots of 300s and if you were willing to come down here and work with me, we can literally build a wall. Maybe that'll keep them from coming through the area. I don't know what to think about that one. I got crab up here too. I don't want to come down there and lose gear. It's a Russian trawler. Wow. Are you kidding me? I've tried to call him on the radio. I've got nothing back. And he's going right through my gear. Johnny, I see you right outside my window. You're just about to the line there, dude. <laughs> Did you bring your passport? <laughs> yeah, I got the passport. We're right here, Russians. We're setting six spots to the mile so we can still catch crab. And we are close enough together, we can block that Russian. Hey, put your flag up, OK? We got ours up this afternoon. Yeah, you guys are going up there right now. Yeah, Freddy! Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful thing, the American flag. It's a beautiful thing. Two. One. Bang. Yeah. Oh, man, that's beautiful, dude. Hello, Russia. Start setting. Anvil drop. Well, they know we're here now. We'll go up there and we're gonna block them out with our crab pots. And hopefully we chase them away. Right on, well, you know what? We've got so much gear in here, any trawler would be an idiot to try and come through this water now. We're defending America, we're the front lines right now, dude. It's damn right. Cargo ship runs over Jake's pot. The saga faced a big challenge when a massive cargo ship ran over Jake's pots, threatening to ruin his final day of fishing. With his boat's fate at stake, Jake had to act fast to salvage what he could. Despite the rough weather and the risk involved, Jake and his crew worked tirelessly to retrieve their lost gear. Yeah! <laughs> That's black off. It's about 600 pounds. Well, yeah, Seems like he knows where to find these fish. We're not in the clear. This is our final day, final hour. 
The fishing's hot, so all I have to do right now is keep the block turning with no mishaps. APL Turkey Saga. Go ahead. Yeah, in about two miles, you'll be running across four strings. Try to look out for buoys. Did you copy that, APL Turkey on 17? Right here is the freeway for American shipping. With all these container ships backing up, that freighter's headed right for our pot. APL Turkey. You're about to go right through our gear. Copy. Damn it. Turkish damn freighter. Totally ghosted me. Ran over my Can you guys see him? I can't see my buoys anywhere. They're gone. This is unbelievable. This could take hours. You know how many pods I've ran over? Never one. The buoys are fire engine red. How the did you do that? If I don't get this product to the dock and delivered, I'm going to lose everything. I have to. I have no other choice. I would never do this in this kind of weather unless I absolutely had to. And right now, I have to. I'm out of soak. I'm out of pots. I'm out of money. And now I'm out of time. You guys ready? Yeah, run! Much before we do this, just remember, fellas, uh... Starts getting sketchy, cut the lines. You don't need an order for that. If you feel unsafe and you got a cut, cut. After a nerve-wracking effort, they managed to hook onto their sunken pots and pull them back up to the surface. Thankfully, they found the pots loaded with a valuable catch, giving them hope of salvaging the situation. Even after facing a setback, Jake was determined to keep going strong and make the best of the time he had left for fishing. Now I should be drifting down the buoy line itself. I have to be very careful how I stay on top of this and drag. I don't just want to take it out of gear, let the wind and waves take me, and then hope it hooks up. I have to be on top of it in order to even snag it. Check it, I might have something. Can I pull up? Go ahead. Try to pull it in. Go ahead, bring it in. She shouldn't be pulling that far away. If we didn't have nothing, she'd be pulling straight up and down. Pick it up. We got it, Jake! Pull it up, dude! Pull it up! You got it! We got it, bro! <laughs> we got it! First try! First try, we got it! Drag it for it! <laughs> Holy! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> We're all good time. Loaded, and they're big, too. Yeah! The pots on the missing string are awesome. Oh, my God. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to comment, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Share this video with your family and friends. See you soon.